In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do basic on-chain analysis to find the largest holders of meme coins and to check whether they're holding or selling. This can be a powerful way to see how concentrated the ownership of a token is and to see whether the largest holders still have conviction or if they're dumping on you. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. On this channel, I teach you how to use DeFi and crypto. And before I go any further, reminder that although I'll talk about several tokens for examples in this video, I'm not suggesting you buy them. You still need to do your own research. Now let's get into it. To start, before we get into today's tutorial, if you want to learn more about on-chain analysis, subscribe to my newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com, and get a free 30-page ebook introduction to on-chain analysis going through far more advanced techniques than we'll talk about in this video. All right, so let's get into today's basic on-chain analysis lesson. The main website we're going to use for this today is Dex Screener. Dex Screener, if you've been trading meme coins, trading tokens on chain, good chance you've used it. And to actually find tokens that we're going to look at, we're going to use Pump.Fun. And for this video, I'm just going to do the largest tokens by market cap. I'm not going to go into anything that's too small. And for examples on this, I'm going to use two tokens that have been trending recently and are also large. One is Mudang, everyone's favorite baby hippo. And the other is going to be Sigma. So we're going to look at Mudang, we're going to look at Sigma. And first thing you'll need from this page is this field labeled as CA, that stands for contract address. Now, good lesson. Anytime you're searching for a token in crypto, never want to type in the ticker. Why? Because because tickers don't have to be unique. There are dozens, if not hundreds of tokens named Mudang, and that's how people end up buying scams. But the contract address has to be unique. So you can copy the contract address and instead of searching for the token, search for that. All right, so I copied it. Now I'm gonna go over to Dex Screener and I'm gonna paste in this contract address to search for it. And you can see that Mudang is coming up and the reason there's multiple, it's just different liquidity pools for the same token. All right, so now we have our Mudang chart and we have some more information about Mudang here in the bottom. And this is really what we're gonna focus on. You see all the transactions, you see the top traders. We're not gonna focus on that in this video, but this can be a really powerful way to find smart money wallets. I have another video about this top trader section that I'll link down below. And then we have this holder section. So we can see Mudang has 54,000 holders. And what this shows us here is the concentration of the token. So in this case, the largest wallet has almost 4%. The next largest wallet has over 2% and so on so forth so although this isn't egregious further investigation may be warranted for this top few wallets because four percent for example is a fairly high amount of tokens for one person to have and it could present a future risk to the token price especially when you consider that this person has more tokens than this entire liquidity pool which is one of the major liquidity pools but sometimes, for example, you'll see tokens where someone has 20, 30, 40%. And to me, that's a major red flag. So once you've taken a look at this, uh, the next thing you may want to do to investigate further is you can click on this bubble maps section. And what this is going to do is this is going to show you connections between these wallets. You can see the tokens that it looks for connections on, or you can click on all and search for connections by any token. And here, for example, we see that wallet number one, and wallet number six have a connection. Wallet number six is labeled as Wintermute, which is a market maker. Wallet number one, I'm guessing it's an exchange. We'd have to investigate further, see it's labeled as high transfer volume. But this can just show you that there's some kind of connections between these wallets. For some especially egregious tokens, not this one, but you'll click on this and you'll see hundreds of wallets connected and that tells you that there's something, something very wrong going on. Uh, so in this case, let's open up the first few wallets and let's take a look at them. And what we want to look for now when we open them is we want to see whether these large holders are holding, whether they're selling, or maybe they're even buying more. Because by determining that, you can prevent yourself from getting dumped on, right? You hear these stories about influencers. They're telling you the price is going to go up another 10x and then they're secretly selling behind the scenes. Well, in this case, you can be the on-chain investigator and you can actually tell whether these large wallets are selling or not. So this largest one, like we suspected, it is labeled as gate.io, it's an exchange. That's not really gonna be that helpful for us here. 
And by the way, another way to tell that it's an exchange is if you click on transfers and you see 3 million transfers, yeah, that's not an individual. What about the number two wallet? It's got 2,500 transfers. Uh, it's a little bit more iffy. This could totally be a real person, right? I mean, I've got wallets with tons of transfers. Uh, looks like it's got some token swaps. So uh, let's investigate. Is this person buying or selling? So to filter down to Mooding, what we're going to want to do is search for Mooding here. And remember, you don't want to type in the token name. Good rule of thumb, always copy the contract address. We can copy it from deck screener by scrolling down on the right and clicking on it or we could go back to pump.fun i'm just gonna copy the deck screener one i'm gonna go back to this address and i'm gonna paste in that same address here and you can see that it pulls up mooding it's a great thing about contract addresses there they work on all these different platforms so here we can see there have been actually a lot of activity so this makes me wonder, I don't know if this is a bot or something, right? That's a little bit more than you would expect normally. This person has many swaps for mooding though. And interestingly, they are all buys. Maybe it's some sort of uh, automatic DCA function, but they're only buying, right? Not bad. This person is even three hours before I made this video. They bought another 62 soul worth of mooding. By the way, if this is your wallet and you're watching, thank you for letting us use it as an example. And so what you may want to do now as you go through your research is for a token that you're holding, that you're tracking, you may want to find a few of the top wallets and check back periodically to see whether they're buying or selling, or maybe even use a third-party service to set up some sort of alert. All right, so now let's look at Sigma. Again, we're going to copy the contract address. We're going to go to deck screener. We'll paste in the contract address, and we are going to check out Sigma. All right, so holders, there's fewer holders on this, but still nearly 10,000. Concentration looks a little bit more decentralized, but you still have a few wallets to pay attention to, over 2% on this one. Bubble maps, if we click on this, then we see there's no connections. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open a few more of these wallets and we're going to check out, are these people buying or selling? All right, so here is the first one. 19,000 transfers, I'm gonna say probably not a real person. 2,600 transfers, could be real. It's a little bit iffy, but let's look at their DeFi activity. You can see they are doing some token swaps. All right, so let's take a look on whether this wallet, it's this number two wallet, whether they are buying or selling. Once again, I'm going to copy the contract address I'm going to paste it in here to search. I'll select Sigma and we find 130 activities. Let me zoom out. All right, so we see that this person has sold 11 days ago and they were selling their Sigma, uh, but they started to buy back in eight days ago. One thing to note on this particular wallet is the way that they are buying and selling oftentimes hours apart on the same day, makes me wonder if this might be some sort of market maker or some, someone using some sort of bot strategy. I don't know. Uh, but for your purposes, the fact that they are buying or selling may be all you need to know and the amount that they're buying or selling. So in this case, this person has a millions of dollars worth and they're buying or selling a few hundred dollars, a thousand dollars is probably not that significant either way. What you really want to look for here is watch out for this person's got a million dollars and they're offloading offloading a hundred thousand dollars worth at a time in a day because that could tell you that they are looking for an exit boat and by the way people are allowed to sell right no sell shaming on this channel however uh, i prefer to not be the last one holding if everyone else is deciding to sell let's do one more example here i'm going to open up the third largest wallet Again, we're in soul scan. We go to DeFi activities. I'm going to paste in the Sigma address, which I still have copied. And so here we see this person has made 26 token swaps with Sigma. And here is an example of someone who is deciding to sell. Let's see. They first bought in way back three months ago. 
over several different clips. They're now up a lot and uh, they've been selling. They've been selling consistently over the past few months and even over the past week, they've had several decent sized sell orders. If you want to learn more about on-chain analysis, again, sign up for my email newsletter, link in the description, and your introductory email will include a link to this ebook, 30 pages introduction to on-chain analysis. Let me know down in the comments some on-chain analysis techniques that you like to use. For more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.